Now the problem goes like this. Now there are two components A and B. Component A costs rupees X per unit and component B costs rupees Y per unit. So we are given the costs of the two components. Now we need to mix them in a particular ratio and produce a mixture C of the two components A and B. Now we need to find that ratio in which A and B are to be mixed so that the cost of the mixture C should be rupees Z per unit. So independently the component A was costing rupees X per unit, the component B was costing rupees Y per unit but when they are mixed together in a particular ratio then the mixture C cost rupees Z per unit. So these are the three costs which are given in the question and now we need to find the ratio in which A and B are to be mixed to, so as to generate mixture C of rupees Z per unit cost. Now uh, a very tough question if you are solving this for the first time and these type of problems uh, you know if you don't solve them and attempt them firstly in the exam then it will be a headache for you. So I'll tell you directly the shortcut for uh, solving this because traditional methods are normally mentioned in uh, all types of competitive exam books but shortcuts are mentioned in very less books. So the required ratio which is to be found out. So we need to find a ratio. Okay. Now this is the simple ratio in which uh, we have to just substitute the values of x, y and z here to generate the answer. Now see x, y and z the three costs are already known to you. If you subtract z and y it becomes a numerator of the ratio and if you subtract x and z it becomes the denominator of the ratio. Now let's, un let's understand this shortcut using a problem. Now see this is the problem which I am taking. Type A sugar it costs rupees 30 per kg. So this cost rupees 30, this is to be assumed as x, the first cost of the first component. Similarly type B, sugar costs rupees 40 per kg. So this cost rupees 40 per kg, this is to be assumed as y. Now in what ratio the two types of sugars must be mixed? So we need to find this ratio, required ratio, so that the mixture cost rupees 36 per kg. So this is the mixture, the cost is Z, so we assume this cost as Z. So you see all the three costs, rupees 30, rupees 40 and rupees 36 are given in the question. We just need to find the ratio in which sugar A and sugar B have to be mixed so as to generate a mixture costing rupees 36 per kg. So let's apply this shortcut. Our solution is ratio is now z minus y. So z is 36 minus y is 40. So you see here we are generating a negative number but we need not worry because that negative will be cancelled by the denominator c. In the denominator we have x minus z. So x is 30 and z is 36. Now see numerator is also negative and denominator is also negative. So we will get a positive ratio. So this is minus 4 and this is minus 6. So minus gets cancelled and 4 upon 6 is obviously 2 upon 3. So our answer is 2 ratio 3. Very very simple method. Very interesting shortcut and I will leave it to you how we have obtained this shortcut. You can try out the traditional method, how much time you take to solve this question using the traditional method and solve it using this approach of using the shortcut. I am sure you will save a lot of time when you solve it through this method. You can check your answer to ratio 3. Very very easy to verify your answer and I am sure it will come out to be correct. This problem is to be learned by heart and the method should not be confusing to you. If you 
practice this for 5 minutes i am sure you will come out successfully solving this in about 10 to 15 seconds time in the exam the question goes like this a and b together they finish a piece of work in 12 days obviously there are three persons here we are taking only a and b together first after that b and c together they finish it in 15 days and c and a when they work together they finish the work in 20 days so now we need to find if all the three work together how many days do they take and also if they work independently or separately how many days do the does a take or then b and then c independently also we have to find the number of days taken by each person so the solution for this problem goes like this see i have made a matrix here a plus b b plus c and c plus a these are the three things which are given in the question so number of days it is mentioned here 12 15 and 20 so we will mention here 12 15 and 20 so whenever the work time and work questions are there we always calculate one day work by taking the reciprocal of the number of days taken so a and b they take 12 days together to finish the work so one day work will be 1 by 12 one day work if b and c work together will be 1 by 15 and one day work when c and a work together will be 1 by 20 so this is one day work of the three pairs of persons now what we do here is we add these and we get the one day work in all the three cases now we are adding the three so see a comes twice so twice of a b comes twice so twice of b and c comes twice so twice of c will be equal to we add these three 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 now if you are aware of trick number 50 for finding the LCM short through a shortcut you will be able to find out the LCM of 12, 15 and 20 very very easily. Now see for 15 and 20, 15 the next multiple is 30 it is not divisible by 20 then next multiple is 45 not divisible by 20 next multiple is 60 which is divisible by 20 so 15 and 20 have a LCM of 60. Now 12 exactly divides 60. So 60 is the final LCM of 12, 15 and 20. So if you take the LCM here as 60, this is 5, then this is 4 and this is 3. So this comes out to be 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 upon 60 which cancels out exactly 5 times to give you 1 upon 5. So this 2 right on the left side comes in the denominator here and a plus b plus c comes out to be 1 upon 10. Now see when all the three persons work together the 1 hour work is 1 by 10 therefore number of days when they work together is 10. So this is the first answer which was asked how many days do they take when they work together. So they take 10 days when they work together. Now let us find the independent number of days. For that the one day work of all the three persons is 1 by 10. So if you take this equation and this equation then here we have all the three persons A, B and C and here we have only B and C. So if you subtract these two only a will be left behind so i'll name the equations as equation number one this is second this is third and together this forms the fourth equation so what i'll do is i'll subtract fourth and first i'll subtract fourth and second and i'll subtract fourth and third these three will give you the independent works of the three persons. So 1 by 10 minus 1 by 12 then 1 by 10 minus 1 by 15 and 1 by 10 minus 1 by 20. So if you subtract this and this only C will be left behind. This will give you C's work 
So C will come here. If you subtract this and this, it will give you A's work. And finally, we have the work of B. So all you need to do is to subtract these now. Now for 10 and 12, the LCM is 60. And you have 6 minus 5, that is 1 by 60. So C takes 60 days. This is the work done by C. Now, if you subtract 10 and 15, the LCM is 30. So 3 minus 2, so 1 by 30. So take the reciprocal 30 days is the number of days taken by A. And finally, 1 by 10 minus 1 by 20, LCM is 20. So 2 minus 1, so 1 by 20. Take the reciprocal, 20 days is the amount of number of days taken by B. So A takes independently 30 days to complete the task. B takes 20 days to complete the task. C takes 60 days to complete the task. And when they work together, they take 10 days to complete the task. So I have given you an overview of the understanding which is must for answering such questions of time and work and do practice this method by taking 4 or 5 such questions. I am sure you will come out successfully in competitive exams dealing with such kind of problems. So if you like it, share the video and subscribe the channel.